Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a reading for you about your plans versus God's plan for you. So basically we all see a certain kind of path for us, um, maybe some wishes that we want to happen to us in the future, but God always has a different plan for us <laughs> and that's usually what happens. Um, so I want to look a little bit into it. It could be related to any aspect of your life. Uh, could be love, finances, health, career, whatever it is. Whatever I see, I will let you know, okay? So you can choose your candle here. Pile one, red candle. Pile two, orange candle. Pile three, white candle. And pile four, uh, light green candle so choose your candle your pile and we are going to start hello pile number one uh, let's see your plans versus God's plan for you. Your plans or wishes and God's plan for you. So if your plan somehow uh, related to you or you feel it resonates, that means you can continue watching, okay? So what's your plan? Of course. <laughs> Gentle Gardener. Look at this beautiful card. I'll tell you what. Uh, for some... Um, your wish is just to have a calm, uh, happy life, maybe to, you know, have a garden <laughs> in your backyard, maybe if, if, just for example, if you already in the age, uh, look at this woman here, uh, you older maybe and everything you want is just peace, you want to be in nature, you maybe want um, your kids or grandkids to come to your house to enjoy this is a don't take it too little like uh, don't take it literally it could also mean if you very young it could also mean you just want your life to be happy and calm nothing much going on in a way no uh crazy surprises you just want peace uh you maybe want a family kids uh spouse husband or wife um your own house, uh, financial abundance and stuff like that. All of the good things. Here I see people are very positive about their future. Even if you're not positive currently, you still have this hope that in the future you will have such life. Okay? So this is your plan. Now let's see. What's God's plan for you? Again, this is... Um, Time doesn't matter here, it's just a message for you, what you need to know right now, okay? What's God's plan for you? <laughs> One ring circus. And look at this card. This uh, woman, she's sitting on an elephant in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the ocean on a rock. Okay, and what can I tell you? Uh, even though you want your life to be calm and happy and um, nothing much going on, just lots of, you know, happiness, <laughs> God has completely different plan for you. And it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means, it means that this is not... Uh, how your life should be because if it's going to be like that you will be very bored uh, so life will present to you a life when 
uh, I'm sorry, God will uh, give you life, but you always um, entertained, always something going on, uh, adventure, um, traveling, uh, having certain situations that you ever have to overcome basically not boring at all so in what it will um show itself let me see here if you want to come live guys this is not happening you're gonna have all different kinds of uh situations basically adventure i want to call this life adventure okay in which way it will appear to you Yes, exactly. <laughs> Adventure it is. Wow. First of all, um, I don't know if it's good news or bad news, but your life will have all different kinds of situations, including broken hearts. Maybe it already happened to you. Maybe that's how all, it's, already, it's already going on. At certain point, you will be alone. Other times, you will be very passionate about something or someone, some uh, adventure, um, passionate connection. Then a lot of traveling. I see people here will travel because two cards talking about traveling here. Um, somewhere you need to go, somewhere you need to come back. Uh, people that will come and go maybe in your life because we have wandering circus which means events could repeat themselves with same people or different people it doesn't matter so your life is not going to be stagnant and i see a hangman here yes it we could say okay this is completely opposite what i was just talking about but because <laughs> your life will have all different kinds of aspects or like all different kinds of situations there will be times when you will be stagnant other times you will be very active um basically the whole situation will you will always be like in a certain kind of mystery where it's like a movie and you never know how this movie will end uh, and you're gonna be the one you're gonna be the main character in this movie in a way where you will be the magician you will lead your life yes god gives this to you but you are the one who says okay today i'm going right tomorrow i'm going left uh, you will be very powerful in a way to build your life the way you want it to be and for that, you need to go through different kinds of situations, things. And where it will all lead you eventually. To your true happiness. If you want a peaceful life, that's not what you need. Here, people need adventure and uh, to earn everything they will have on their own not like they woke up one day and they were happy no here people will definitely earn their happiness and guess what you're getting queen of cups getting your um first of all your love life will become uh, better if it's not already uh, a lot of happiness fulfillment at work also um, some benefits financial abundance movement love everything together will come to you good health um, basically you need to earn all of that through all those hardships that you will go through and if right now you're already going through them i uh, say thank you to the universe why because that's your way uh, of getting to where you want to get to your happiness abundance in all aspects look at that this card actually reminds me of the first card that we saw what you want but how you want it to be is kind of uh, eventually will be boring you don't know this now maybe your life has so many different kinds of crazy events you say i want this boring life but no you don't you think it right now but in reality you need some action some adventure for you to uh, eventually say wow i've been through so much and look look how much um, i earned look what i got um, 
I built myself, my own life, with my own hands, my own power, my own intuition, and of course with God's help. So basically God gives you this opportunity to build your life the way you want it. For example, maybe you could have, let's, just an example, could have married someone and live a happy, quiet life, right? But you wouldn't have as much adventure or passion with this person. Um, hardships even. And here the universe wants you to feel and earn your happiness. Earn this happiness. That's, that's why maybe right now or in a close future you will continue having certain struggles, adventures at the same time. When approximately uh, you will earn this um, happiness, when, how much longer you need to, I don't want to say suffer because this is just, you know, your path, your journey, right? How much longer? <laughs> Not too long. Uh, some people already on the way, so once, uh, usually once they are, could talk about months or one up to one year, uh, you will already feel this um, beginning of this nine of pentacles. Some people are very close to their happiness. Very close. Yes, because you are the magician. Uh, all of those cards talk about f very fast events. But the only thing um, the universe wants you to get rid of is your own fears. Fears of not getting to the to the like this ending point. But understand, there is no ending point uh, until we die, right? So if you will continue being living in fears, um, you're not going to enjoy this adventure that you're going through because this adventure is part of your life. This is a part of your journey. Think about it, okay? Um, beautiful. I like it, pile number one. Yes, look at that. Finally, Ace of Pentacles. You will get everything you want, everything you plan for, but just another way. More adventurous way. Thank you, Pile 1. Let me know in comments. And I'm going for Pile number 2. Hello, pile number two. Uh, let's see. Your plans versus God's plan for you. Okay? If you see your plans are matching and resonate, that means you can continue watching. Okay? So let's see your plans. It could be in general your plans for the future. For something you want, you wish for. And God's plan for you. Let's look at your plans. Mm -hmm. Okay, your plans um, heal the ouch over here. Very interesting card. I want to tell you, your plans are not crazy big or to the uh, long, like more into the future the more in the, to the close future it shows me okay so basically some people are um broken hearted here betrayed uh, something happened here uh, maybe you hurt or you literally have health issues some people even <clears throat> maybe got into accidents or were uh, sick recently i don't know your plans are not major right now because you have a certain situation that you want to heal Maybe you're healing from a broken heart. Maybe from literally some something bothers you uh, physically, but or mentally again and mentally, whatever it is, you want to heal. And if it resonates with you currently, then you can, can continue watching. So your plan plans right now just to heal yourself, uh, gain energies, uh, pick up yourself. Maybe. Um, healing that doesn't really have to be like that it, it could also be you suffering from um lack of 
job, finances, uh, something you're missing here and you want to heal from it, from this situation or a person or um, something negative recently happened, your health issues, whatever it is, you, you try to heal. And that's your main wish right now, to heal, to get out of it. And if it resonates with you, this is actually, guys, very... Um, because you're going through it, you don't even look far. Let's say pile number one, people look at what's going to happen, let's say, in 10 years with them or like in a far future here or overall. Here you specifically want to get rid of something or get away from something to feel better because right now your body is not well, your mind is not well, something is bothering you, you're tired, maybe you already started healing and you're in the process, okay? If it resonates with you, let's see what's God plan for you. Wow, how amazing is that? Balancing act. <laughs> That's how the universe works. Uh, how those two cards are so um, related. So if you want to heal, the universe will bring you balance. This balance that you seek. Um, you will heal. And I have number 11 here. Okay. If you heal him from a broken heart, you definitely will heal and put yourself uh, back to your normal uh, stance, your body will be he healed, your um, mind will be healed, your heart will be healed. Uh, <clears throat> also on a physical level, you will learn how to balance yourself. For most it's a broken heart because I have those little hearts coming, uh, like falling off. You will, you will learn how to I want to say how to use your wings. Uh, here, look at her. I never noticed it, but I see certain wings over here, <clears throat> and I and, and I feel like like she's not wearing them because she learned already how to balance without wings. But for you, I want to say if you don't have your wings yet, metaphorically speaking. You cannot fly. You will start flying. You will start balancing. You will st uh, start new life. What is it related to? What is it about? Let me see a little bit deeper into this situation. Here people will <coughs> get what they want. <coughs> yeah, some people trying to uh, earn money or get a job and they're already impatient. They're tired of looking and looking. Maybe financial stance is not well and the universe tells you wait, temperance here, don't rush and don't be uh, upset about it, don't be negative about it. You will learn how to, uh, you know, <clears throat> deal with it, how to get out of a certain situation. I just heard some people lost a big amount of money right now, recently. Big amount, maybe you gambled, maybe you lost your business or you um, gave someone money and they never uh, gave you back. I don't know, something, this is a very small amount of people, but if somebody needed to hear it, don't worry, you will figure it out. Yes, <clears throat> for some, you lost some money here, and look, it confirms. And you will be fine, you will find a way, you will find a way to pick up yourself. Yes, and look, it shows me here again. If somebody didn't give you money back, they will return the money. If uh, you need someone's help financially, you will find this person who will give you. Um, don't worry about that. This is just for those. What else? What, what about others? What about others? As well as health issues, you will heal. Some people, um, <clears throat> for some, your problem is maybe you are a lover and you want to be the empress. Um, you want to take your relationship to another level and the person maybe not acting towards it and you upset about it. Don't worry, you will uh, eventually, this will change because you are the empress, um, not just the high priestess. 
Okay, what else? Someone's healing their heart. Here. And um, maybe your heart right now, because of the pain, you closed your heart. Your heart chakra is closed, maybe. Or you just don't allow everyone to get there or hurt you again. You are healing from it as well. <clears throat> yes. You will see new horizons. You will see new opportunities. When it comes to your love, love life, you will go away from all this negativity that you were in before or, or toxic relationships. You will choose new path. Yes, <clears throat> some, some toxic addiction uh, connections are here or were here. You're getting away from this toxicity here. And you're healing from it. You're healing from it. Um, what is this about? Yes, some people are ending a triangle situation here. It could be related to uh, like uh, any triangle situation. Third parties, you end in this and you, you will come into something new, something more positive. Yes, new love. Some people will um, receive uh, new love. This is God's plan for you is to leave the old and the, to start the new. If you were thinking, for example, this <clears throat> this person that you're with right now, toxic. I'm talking about toxic connections, not if everything is fine with you, okay? If you don't know how to get rid of this person, you're so addicted, attracted to a certain person, but this person is not uh, taking this relationship to another level or you're in a triangle situation. Whatever it is, the problem is you're going away from it. You're thinking this is okay. This is your person regardless of anything. You have to fix things around. No, the universe tells you no. Uh, this is not what I plan for you. I plan for you new love. Right now you might not accept it. Right now you might feel that this is uh, not going to happen. You only want this person. And st this is just for some. Again, if you feel it resonates with you, uh, that there is no other way. You have, you know, you'll figure it out. Yes, maybe you will figure it out if it's really something to fix. But for, for those who know that they're in a certain connection that's nearly too impossible and you understand with your head, that this connection is not right for you, it's not healthy for you, it drains you, it brings you pain. The universe has a different plan for you. New love, new person, new connection, healthy one. <clears throat> uh, connection when you will, your wishes, all your wishes will come true. Where you will be not just uh, fulfilled, for example, you're happy, um, it is uh, with a certain thing in this person, the rest is you unhappy. No, here all the cups of yours will be full. And that's kind of a plan the universe has for you. The universe tells you, I'll heal you, don't worry. I hear your wish, I know you want to heal, I know um, <clears throat> you deserve it, and I'm bringing this to you. I'm bringing to you this gift or this chance new chance in life in any aspect that bothers you for some it's about job again career money for others it's love situation new soulmate soulmate is coming your way wow beautiful Again, I just shuffled. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, uh, I, I think I ended first pile with Ace of Pentacles. And here I do the same, same thing. Um, just confirms that God always has a better plan for you. <laughs> Thank you very much, pile number two. Let me know in the comments. And I'm going for pile number three. Hello, pile number three, whoever chose this white candle. Let's see.
Let's look at your plans versus God's plan for you. Okay, if your plans resonate somehow, for some reason, you can continue watching. This is your plan, and this is God's plan for you. It could be in general, it could be in about certain situation, but we'll look, uh, <coughs> we'll see right now what is this about, okay? So what's your plan? <laughs> look at that. Home. Your plan is to build home or a house maybe literally you want to buy a house you want to move somewhere else new place new city new country just new apartment new house home uh, you want to build your own place <clears throat> not literally build even though for some there could be to have this place where you at peace <clears throat> for others you want a family you want marriage you want kids you want uh, to be happy basically and uh, you your plans are to get to this point where you will have your own home where all your loved ones will gather together for holidays uh, to spend time with one another even if you're gonna be there on your own at, in the beginning and just to have be happy there that's also could be maybe someone literally right now uh, trying to buy a house but anyways, that's your plan, to have a home eventually and to be happy, which is very, uh, you know, understandable. 27 could be significant for somebody. Maybe you're right now 27 years old <coughs> or your birthday is 27. Let's see. <laughs> What's God's plan for you about it? Wow, peaks of joy. I'll tell you that uh, someone could have chosen pile one as well because, or you may watch it, because here I see similar, not very similar, but similar energies of people. So look at that. <clears throat> and that's what I was explaining in pile one. You want peace, you want home, you, uh, your wishes basically are normal, like most of the people, they just want to be happy, right? And look at that card, peak of joy, 33 by the way, could be significant. And the universe tells you, God's plan is for you to enjoy every moment every happy moment uh, be grateful for a, any any good moment in your life even if it's just five minutes even if it's just one day but the universe wants you to collect good memories the universe doesn't want you just to work 24 7 for this home or to <clears throat> just to have this simple wish yes it's simple not everyone can get there but it's still um, for you the universe has a plan to um, feel any kind of joy in this in this life including financial joy um, love joy sexual joy um, sensual joy I hear <laughs> A joy of just being around nature all different little things that we might not appreciate the universe wants you to enjoy them all so if for that you wouldn't uh, have this home yet I'm saying yet right because you need to go through certain adventures you need to and uh, like feel different kind of things and see you here you uh, you will be traveling you will be happy about something you will transform uh, numerous times to um, feel this joy let's say you will go through some hardship in order to when it's done you're gonna feel this joy and look at her look at her how she's like uh, <clears throat> joyful and look at this butterfly here it is yeah she just transformed she just you know came out of the shell 
she's happy again so the universe wants you to feel every uh, <clears throat> moment of happiness and even like think about it when you happy somewhere for example you sitting with your best friend or your loved one or your parents or whatever it is or even on your own in a cafe or in a like somewhere in nature think about those moments like when you just happy nothing really going on maybe maybe it's a simple dinner or maybe it's a simple conversation but think about how happy you are at that moment and you know say yes right now i am happy notice those things and the universe wants you to do that that's the plan of the universe for you to notice what is it about what else is it about what's the god's plan for you yes to be active to take opportunities to travel to go places to enjoy this is once this is movement uh, just being like that will be boring for you and um, yes maybe at a certain point of time you will get there but before it happens you have to go through different things to feel life uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying pile one is kind of similar here because you have so much potential to grow look at this little um, leaves over here they are growing on the ones because they new new opportunities new adventures something uh, growing and that's how you should be always grow <clears throat> grow your potential yes don't be afraid of some situations when make you uncomfortable or you don't feel confident or you don't feel that you stand in your ground here you see it's like look at this um you know see behind him it's it's not calm and the universe is telling you <clears throat> not always when it's calm it's good sometimes we need to shake to have certain you know movement in order to feel this final um, achievement final joy when we get somewhere basically enjoy the ride okay <clears throat> and the universe will bring you this ride for you to feel it yes and look how beautiful it is and look where it gets you to the ten of pentacles what you wanted you wanted a home you will get it but the way you will get it is going to be different from how you think the way you will get it will be some something to tell your kids and grandkids afterwards because you will have a story here <clears throat> what you want um, yes you want peace just you know you don't want too many things to happen too many negative things but those negative things are what's going to build your empire what's going to build your um, family roots uh, this is something you will tell your kids as i said and grandkids about how adventurous your life was okay what else is this about what kind of plan god has for you yes judgment uh you might even go through certain karmic situations with karmic people to go through yes some people literally will be traveling a lot moving places maybe <clears throat> maybe your adventure will be not to build or buy a house where you live but to buy a house in another country or city but for that you'll need to hustle you'll need to do different kind of things which in eventually will give you even more stability and fulfillment than you thought of. Yes, I had this card in the bottom of the deck, but I shuffled. Sometimes I do that because I want to confirm things. Um, and it came out again. Nine of Cups. You will get your happiness, but you're going to feel every piece of this happiness. 
every part of this happiness every little thing you're gonna feel and if you were waiting on a certain person this person will appear this person will take um, responsibility for their own actions for you um, who is this person and the king wow okay uh, someone will make a choice between two people or maybe this is one person just with like has many like their character their um, personality is very different something new but this is and you will you will choose or maybe you'll choose the one who came later <laughs> if you have two people you're gonna choose the new one not the person from your past for others you're gonna have a choice of which road will you go okay so here also love situation could be or maybe you'll have to meet several people to be with several people maybe even several marriages here because you have certain karma here but you will choose the right path the new one and look at that uh, you are going away from your own fears. You're going to be fearless in the future. Because of those adventures, because of those events that will happen to you, you're going to learn to listen to your intuition. And you're going to go away from those fears. You, you're going to be like this person that doesn't fear anymore. As soon as you hear something, if before it scared you, now it's gonna you're gonna say, ah, it's just another thing I have to overcome. That's how you that's who you are going to become in the future. This person that is not afraid. And that's what God's plan for you to teach you of how not to be afraid. Beautiful. So very adventurous plan God has for you. Um, very active, by the way. Thank you very much, pile number three. Let me know in comments. And I'm going for pile number four. Hello, pile number four. Whoever chose this candle. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> your plans versus God's plan for you. If your plans, some way, some reason, resonates with you, then you can continue watching, okay? So, what is what are your plans for your future? And what is God's plan for you? Because usually they differ. <laughs> Because God sees much more than we see. And what's your plan? Hmm. Wow. Pile number four. Strength. 44. Maybe you see a lot of fours lately. Maybe it's your number. I don't know. So your plan is to, is to gain strength. Maybe right now you feel very weak. Maybe right now you're overcoming something. Maybe you already started feeling your strength. But your um, plans, they're not too far. They're just right now you trying to be very strong in life. It's like her. She's so strong. She's... Um, She's holding planet Earth on one hand while she's, <laughs> look at her legs, she's standing on one leg. You see, she can balance between those, balance her own feelings, her own emotions, her mind, her body. And that's your main goal as of now. That's your plan. You want to strengthen yourself. It could be even physically. You may be, you know, 
doing a lot of sport, you're trying to, you know, build your muscles. But for most, I sense this is your inner strength. That's what you're building. And that's your plan to be so strong, not to, in order to overcome situations that can break you. You don't want anything to break you. Maybe you recently been through uh, separation, divorce, broken heart, um, mental health issues, or whatever it is. It could be anything here. You're trying to pick up yourself piece by piece and to become strong again, or just to become strong. And let's see, what's God's plan for you? Hmm. Very interesting. It says deep freeze. Look at that. Very interesting what I sense here. Uh, God's saying right now, <laughs> the universe gives you a message right now actually, before he tells you his plans. God tells you, you're trying too hard. Yes, you do many things to get your strength, but you trying too hard because your strength, your strength is in your weakness, is in your um, not doing nothing. It's like to build your strength, you need a rest. You need to freeze for some time, maybe, to gain strength. You just need time. You need to relax. You need to stop thinking. Freeze your mind from thinking all different kinds of things. Negative or positive, doesn't matter. Right now, to get to where you want, you need to rest. And if it means to just get away from everything and everyone for some time, for a day, for a month, it doesn't matter, you can do that. That's how you will gain the strength. But let's see, what's God plan for you? Maybe after you do that. Or maybe something else. It's like you need, it's like a deep sleep, you know? Um, deep sleep, I want to say, uh, where you just resting. Don't try too hard. You need your energies. And while you're trying too hard, you don't gain anything, you just lose. Rest. Rest your mind, most of all. Let's see. What's God plan for you? <laughs> oh, oh my God. Guys. <laughs> what is going on? What is this? <laughs> Are you going to marry two, three times? <laughs> what is going on here? It all tells me God's plan for you to make you strong. Because look at that. How much stronger can you be with two kings and one uh, emperor, any gender? Look how much strength is in those, you know, three cards. Do you feel it? I do. So God tells you, you already strong. You don't need to do anything to become stronger. You gain your power by doing basically nothing because you are strong enough if you didn't know. Or maybe you get in there very well. Because after all, yes, deep freeze, deep sleep maybe. But who is sleeping there? A lion. And lion. And who is lion, right? A king of the jungle. So basically, <clears throat> and I have the sun. Look at that. Look at those cards, guys. For others, it could mean 
you need this transformation right now to become stronger and the transformation is in resting releasing all those fears that you have all the anxiety that you have uh, go uh, be on your own maybe for some time go into nature meditate relax your mind because you thinking by getting strength you need to <clears throat> do all of that you don't you don't need to do, you don't need to please anyone and if you're trying to please someone to you know for them to love you more or to be with you if you're trying too hard release this you don't need to do that And look, maybe it's a love situation. Maybe you want your relationship or connection to get to another level. But the person is not doing anything. So you're thinking, okay, I need to be strong. I need to fix this. You don't need to fix anything. You just need to release. Maybe a little bit step back even. Give the person space to decide things on their own, be a little bit without you maybe, to think things through. Sometimes we don't need to push forward, we just need to step back. It could be related to anything, even your job, your co-workers maybe, or your career, your finances, or again your love situation maybe you have two people and you don't know which one to choose for your emperor again don't overthink step back from both of them and and give yourself space give them space and see what happens look at the situation from afar from another angle and you see how those people are starting acting towards you not you towards them so god doesn't want you to do much yes someone's making a choice here about uh, something or someone and you trying too hard here you either mentally it doesn't mean you're doing something but mentally you overthinking here you like always in this thing like what how can this happen how what if i do this what if i don't do this like you trying to manipulate through things and and at this point you don't need to do anything exactly temperance take a break and gain your power by taking a break and if right now you're waiting for a person to message you text you call you contact you don't take a break this person needs space because only when there is space we can miss someone you cannot miss a person or pe person cannot miss you if you always there or if you always around even energetically they can feel it that you like thinking about them 24 7 giving them so much energy you know release yes many people are in love here or just love someone so so badly that uh trying to you know pass, uh, like fast forward things that shouldn't be fast forwarded trying to work on a certain situation that shouldn't be worked on. Yes, some people want a family here and they're trying hard to get there. Maybe you pushed by your society and you trying to like to fasten things, to meet someone faster, to get married fast. I don't know what you're doing here, but uh, you know, that's what the only thing it does to you is drains your energy, whatever you're doing, mentally or physically or both. Uh, and here the universe tells you God's plan is to give you what you want, but not with your uh, actions or intentions. The universe will give you a chance to get what you want and you will get it, the whole of it, like everything. But after you rest, 
after you relax your mind it's gonna take some time so give this time for yourself to relax to again this energy look at the sun to pick up the energies to uh, because right now you drained you drained And what will happen if you will do that? What will happen? What's God's plan for you? Why I need to rest right now? To relax. Just to be. How beautiful is that, guys? Look at that. What it will give you? First of all, your intuition will grow. You will learn how to use your intuition. You will gain more power. You will, you will not be drained anymore because you're not going to give out too much. And as soon as you learn this to uh, balance your energies, all this what you want is coming your way. New love, abundance. It doesn't mean new person. It, it's the person that will be a great match for you. New or old, it doesn't matter here. New person, new abundance, new love, new career, new job, new health. Okay? That's what it will give you. Beautiful. Pile number four. If you learn this uh, thing that I told you right now in this pile, if you learn how to balance your energies and not to give out too much, the energies will come to you. Okay, beautiful. So thank you very much. <coughs> Let me know comments. <laughs> relax, go into your garden or outside in nature and relax. Don't as soon as you start thinking about something or someone, change your um, focus. Change your focus. And even if you think of a person, think of them in a positive not into negative, not into how to solve things. Just remember the good times that you had together maybe. Or if you're waiting for a person, manifest good moments or this meeting that you will have eventually. But don't, you know, don't make your mind go crazy. Thank you guys. I love you all and I'll see you in my other video. Bye-bye.